Hi friends, it's Miss Lauren. I have a story for you today and it's called Lonely Pluto. This is Pluto. Pluto is lonely. Very lonely. He wanted to make friends with the other planets in the solar system and decided it was time he tried. So he broke out of his orbit, pop, packed up his meteor and stardust collection, threw them over his shoulder, and began his journey into the solar system. But as he made his way, he began to get nervous. What if he were to get lost in open space by himself? Maybe this isn't such a good idea, he thought. Pluto turned around to go back to his orbit, but something appeared in his way. Hi there, my name's Pluto, he said in excitement to the blue stranger. Hello, my name is Neptune, the planet responded. It's a pleasure to meet you, Neptune, said Pluto, but why do you seem so sad? I can't help it, Neptune replied. Don't you see how blue I am? You are pretty blue, said Pluto. Want to be friends? No, thanks, said Neptune. I'm too blue for friends. Too blue for friends, repeated Pluto. But maybe having a friend will make you less blue. No, I'm pretty sure it's genetic, Neptune replied. But there are other planets closer to the sun who aren't so blue, he pointed. They may want to be friends. You think so, said Pluto? I'll keep going then. Thanks for the help. And with that, Pluto continued on, leaving the blue planet behind him. He soon found himself approaching another planetary stranger. Hi, he said. My name's Pluto. Hey there, shortstop, the planet yelped. The name's Uranus. What's a shrimpy rock like you doing out of orbit? I'm heading into the solar system to meet new friends, Pluto told him. Neptune said I might find some if I keep going towards the sun. Uranus let out a laugh. Neptune, that party pooper wouldn't know what a friend was even if it had bit him in his big blue gaseous spot. How about this, Uranus whispered, leaning close to Pluto. I'll be your friend if you help me with something. Okay, said Pluto. What is it? Sneak some of this cosmic power under Neptune's nose back there, Uranus said. He'll be sneezing for days. I don't think Neptune would like that very much, said Pluto. I know, replied Uranus. That's the best part. Uranus broke out in uncontrollable laughter. Pluto thought it's best to keep moving. He hoped Uranus wasn't the kind of friend Neptune was talking about. Quickly, though, he came upon another new planet. Your rings are stunning, Pluto complimented. Yes, they are quite spectacular, are they not? The planet responded while gazing into her mirror. They sure are. My name's Pluto. My name is Saturn, the planet said, the most beautiful celestial ob object in the, all the Milky Way. All the Milky Way? Pluto exclaimed. It sure is an honor to meet you. Honor? puzzled Saturn. Why, yes. Yes, it is. It is an honor to meet me. Would you like to be friends? he asked. Friends? Pish posh, Saturn scoffed. I don't need friends. I need admirers, and you could be my first one. Hold my mirror for me so I can get a view of the beauty that is my atmospheric body. The weight of the mirror swung down below Pluto as he took hold of it. 
Keep it steady, demanded Saturn. I can hardly see myself with you shaking it like that. Your gravity is making it too heavy, Pluto cried. How dare you make such comments about my mass, shouted Saturn. The mirror slipped out of Pluto's hands, plunging itself into Saturn's atmosphere. I think we're done here, said Saturn, as her favorite mirror sank further and further into the depths of her cloudy surface. Pluto left Saturn and continued further into the solar system until running into another planet. The biggest one he's seen yet. Hello? Pluto yelled up to the planet, catching the giant by surprise. Who's there? The planet's deep voice bellowed back, unable to see the tiny Pluto. Show yourself! Pluto tried one more time, shouting as loud as his planetary crust would allow. Hello! Egad, did that speck of dust just talk? Shouted the planet. I'm not a speck of dust, said Pluto. I'm a planet like you. Like me, you said, the planet said questionably. Yep, but you're so big. I didn't realize planets could be as big as you. Pluto said in awe. Thanks for noticing. You can call me Jupiter. It's nice to meet you, Jupiter. My name's Pluto. Would you like to be friends? Whoa, 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 said Jupiter. Hang on there, little buddy. You seem like a real astronomical little dude, but I have a reputation to keep up. You're just a bit too small for me to be seen with, Jupiter exclaimed. But come back when you put on a few octillion pounds, he said as he waved goodbye to Pluto. Making friends was harder than Pluto thought, but he decided to push on and keep trying. After safely making it through a field of asteroids, Pluto came in contact with another potential friend. My name is Pluto. I've been traveling through the solar system looking to make a friend. Huh, the red planet responded. What's your name? Quiet, the planet interrupted, covering Pluto's mouth. There he is again, that self-righteous blue chunk of space rock. Who are you talking about? And where do those binoculars come from? Pluto asked, pushing the planet's hand away from his mouth. Earth. Look at him out there. I'm so special. I can sustain life. It makes my core boil. The name's Mars, he said. Ah, uh, nice to meet you, Ma What was that? shouted Mars again, interrupting Pluto. Was that? Is he laughing? You think you can laugh at me? Mars shouted, gazing through the binoculars. I like to see him walk a day in my orbit. Then we'd see who's laughing. I don't mean to be rude, Pluto started, but I don't think he was laughing at you. As a matter of fact, I don't think he was laughing at all. You're with him, aren't you? Mars accused. No, no, pleaded Pluto. I don't even know Earth. So did he send you here to spy on me? Or is he simply trying to throw me off my guard, expose my weaknesses? Well, I won't give him the pleasure, snarled Mars. You can go tell Earth that I will not be another pawn in this game of his. So Pluto left Mars and made his way towards the next planet on his journey. Excuse me. Are you Earth? Why, yes, I am, said Earth. How did you know? Another planet back there told me, said Pluto. I hear you talking about me, shouted the red planet from far away. Oh, that's just Mars, said Earth. Don't worry, he's harmless. Harmless, right, Pluto nervously agreed. So what's your name, Earth asked. My name's Pluto. 
I've been traveling through the solar system in search of new friends. Would you like to be my first one? It's nice to meet you, Pluto, said Earth, and I would love to be your friend. But sadly, I'm just too busy. Busy? Pluto repeated questionably. That's right, Earth said while gesturing to his surface. My crust is full of rich nutrients and living creatures. I have to concentrate all my focus on keeping it sustainable. Otherwise, it might all go away. I've already created countless earthquakes and hurricanes simply by stopping my rotation to talk to you. I see, Pluto solemnly replied. But don't give up, Earth told him. There are a couple of more planets towards the sun. I'm sure they'll want to be your friend. Pluto did Earth a farewell and continued forward. P.U. What's that smell? Pluto cried. Oh. Hello, my name is Pluto. Hello, Pluto, Plano said. The planet said with a stretch of rotten egg spewing from his breath. My name's Venus. Pluto let out a horrendous cough at the toxic gas. I'm terribly, so terribly sorry for that. Apologize, Venus. My atmosphere is made of sulfuric acid and can be quite pungent. Pluto could hardly breathe every time the planet spoke. Please, no more, he managed to say. What's that? Venus asked. I can't understand you with you covering your face. Pluto couldn't take it anymore. He grabbed his bag and took off running. It was a pleasure to meet you, Pluto said as he sped off, freeing himself from the smell, at which point he was caught by surprise at the beautiful sight in front of him. The sun looked incredible at such a close distance, he thought. Quite a sight for sore eyes, ain't she? said a voice beside Pluto. Yep, I could bask in her rays all year round, said the stranger. Yeah, it sure is warm when you're this close, Pluto replied. A little too warm, he added as his outer crust began heating up. It sure is, the sun-soaking planet responded. So what's your name, asked Pluto. The name's Mercury, he answered. And what by chance do they call you? My name's Pluto. It's nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine, my planetary compadre. Please feel free to join me in my sunbathing ritual. Thanks, Pluto said, trying his hardest to ignore the heat. But Mercury could tell something was wrong. You doing all right, little buddy? You're not looking so hot. Pluto was actually looking a little too hot. I think the sun is starting to melt my surface, said Pluto. Melt? What is your surface made of? asked Mercury. Let's see, said Pluto. My core is made of rock and metal, but the rest of me is mostly ice. Well, there's your problem, my friend. The sun's going to melt all your ice away at this distance, replied Mercury. Soon you'll be cooked to nothing but a rocky core. What should I do? Pluto desperately asked. Sorry, buddy, but all you can do is go back from where you came from, said Mercury. But hey, at least you got to experience paradise for a bit. Yeah, paradise, Pluto murmured as he turned and headed away from the sun, making his way past Venus, back past Earth, past Mars, past Jupiter, past Saturn, past Uranus and Neptune, until he finally made it back into his orbit. I guess I wasn't meant to have friends, Pluto sighed as he settled into his lonely corner of the solar system. Hey! Pluto heard a voice from behind him. He turned around to find another planet. Hi there, said the stranger. My name's Eris. What's yours? My name's Pluto. Where did you come from? I thought I was the last planet in the solar system. Oh, I'm not just any planet. I'm a dwarf planet, Eris said proudly. A dwarf planet, puzzled Pluto. Yep, and I'm not the only one. Take a look, Eris motioned behind himself. 
Two more dwarf planets appeared. We spend our time playing at the very edge of the solar system, said Eris. Would you like to be our friend? He asked Pluto. <clears throat> Pluto couldn't believe what he was hearing. What he had been looking for all along was right behind him the whole time. I would love to be your friend, Pluto joyfully replied. And from that day forward, Pluto was known as a dwarf planet. And he and the other dwarf planets stayed friends, laughing and playing at the far reaches of the solar system for as long as the sun shined their way. The End